Alright. Okay, that's all looked after. So what I did is I actually tied these two here. You can't see nothing with that light. I tied those two trees together. So if, and you'll see why I did that. And it's not a slip knot. It's a knot that will actually hold the trees together. If one decided to take off, it would hold them together. Why would I not do that? I'm way up here. There is a chance that the stump could be goofy. You'll see when I get down there. I'll show you what I mean. This tree actually is leaning towards the house. You can see it. So a simple little safe measure like that, quick precaution, just tie them together. Let's cut some trees down, shall we? Sold international. I forget what year it is, but it's, it's an absolute beauty. You ever driven one of these before? You got a leak in your rad? Yeah. Pull her up. Yeah, he's got a leak in the rod there. Oh, could be overheating. Put the clutch in! Oh, it sounds strong. It's a dump. Oh yeah, a little smoky, but probably it's sat forever. Oh, it's a 1600. It's a Lodestar 1600. Look at this thing. Okay, so we got it. You got a temperature gauge? No. Oh. I filled it up with water this morning. Okay, because it's... Oh, it's still in the green. It was right there. Oh, yeah, so it does work? Yeah, yeah, it, oh, does. yeah it does. Work. So turn the key. Just turn the key onto ignition. Okay, let's just watch that for a sec. Because I look like you're... Ooh, you're hot. Yeah. Yeah, you're hot. So let her settle down. How's it going, man? Good to see you, bud. Yeah. Break very well. No, she's used a tranny. Yeah, I'd never driven one before, so it was yeah. a little... You've never driven standard before? Not like this. Oh, okay. I've driven like, you know, like a pickup truck, but... Gotcha. It's got brakes. Yeah. You know, like you just hit the brakes and it stops. This thing doesn't stop. No. What year? 72. 72? Yeah. Interesting, because my... My 77 was... Um, had a different grill completely. These, these are great old trucks. Does it turn more one way than the other? Or is it both uh, ways turn similar amount? No, both, driving here it seemed like it was about the okay. same. So 
So all this is just oil burning off the exhaust. Is this the longest run you've had it on? Yeah. Put a stain exactly. Here we yeah. are, friends. We're in the old uh, the old international here. He's got, he's got no binders. I wish I had had the camera on a second ago because uh, uh, yeah, it, I just went in reverse there. You know what I mean, friends? And there's no no binders. What a great old truck, though. It does, because I pressed it when we were driving before, and it, yeah, I can hear, I can just... We got lucky on that fence. What are we doing? Brake fluid. fluid. I wonder if I got any. Okay, well, friends, we didn't bone us out. We, we thought we'd get uh, some binders, but we didn't. We didn't get binders. See, there should be. Yeah, there's binders right on the floor, so that's your front brakes kicking in, so watch. You got oh, brakes. Now we have brakes because there was no fluid. So we'll have. See, oh, you, okay. you've actually. Oh, actually, it's coming up. Oh. Your pedal's coming up. You're going to get brakes. Awesome. Well, that's good. Yeah. Brakes, brakes are good. Oh, you, you got you got binders, bud. You, you've actually got brakes. We got pedals up. Good. Okay, we got brakes. We can actually drive this thing. Can you pull that mirror in a bit? It's a good runner. Yeah. make the difference it's a gorgeous day let's take this right out here so it shoots the exhaust out into the the atmosphere into the green atmosphere you know morning friends here afternoon it's getting to be closer there now I uh, I'm just wrapping up some axes now we got Darren's wrapped up we got uh, um, this is a beautiful axe. The only part with this axe that I didn't like that happened, but it doesn't actually matter because other than that, the head's in phenomenal shape. Is you know when people drill out the, the wood and they go eh, eh, with the drill bit and they pick up pieces of steel on the side of the head, they grab this one. Uh, Shane, this is your HB. It's, it's, it's freaking spectacular, my friend. It is. It's just a beautiful, beautiful axe. You've got one of the nicest handles. It's an HB replacement handle or halt to force just gorgeous uh, you can't beat them in my mind they're an Arvika handle is what they are straight up they're a Arvika replacement handle they're gorgeous um, but uh, yeah somebody when they last drilled it out they they picked up a little bit right in there which hey what are you gonna do vintage axe heads right but uh this thing's nuts I'm gonna drop some wedges in it for you because I got a feeling you're gonna use it hey uh, phenomenal axe phenomenal axe Shane, are you ready? Look at what you're getting, bud. You might as well. This comes with HB. This is HB stuff. See? Look at it. It's incredible. That's what HB sends out. Halt the force sends out in their freaking... In their new models. So Billy Ray comes over here. He grabs his little piece of rubber. And he puts it down here. And he lines this up. Somewhere's about... In that realm and vicinity of things. And he gives it one of those. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at Look at this, buddy. Look at this. Busting wood right there. I love when it does that. It cracks the hickory on the outside. Not so much on this side, just means I was over that way a touch. Look at that though. I hate to say it, but this head's never coming off. <laughs> oh, that's gorgeous. 
Okay, buddy. Shane, you're getting wrapped up and shipped. We're gonna do an experiment, Michael, my friend. Okay, so far so good. Look at this. See what it does to the wood? Right there? It cracks it, okay? I want you to watch this. This is very interesting. That was a good shot, actually. So this now, because I like the look of the wood above. I can always change it when it's this high, but I, I really like the look of, the, of this one. So let's try something, my friend. There she goes. I got it on the rubber. Oh yeah. There we go. Once it sinks. Oh yeah. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at it. Now it's basically, look at. <laughs> this is really cool. So what it does is it cracks this, Michael. It cracks this right here. But then once the fat part goes by and down, the system is deadly. It is. That's why HB does it. They, they've been at it for so long. So, so now that this is here, okay, so here's the situation now. Look at this. I want you to watch. See, look at it. It's, it's countersunk. I call it countersunk, okay? Now, because it's in there, I can actually just rest this next one right on top of it. I just work it by like that. Just work it by the wood. Boom, I'm right on top of it, double decker. Now watch. Oh my goodness. <laughs> it worked my friend. <laughs> I love it I, because I love this look. You know what I mean? Like, I love that. That's old school, especially with something like that. Look at that. Oh, yeah. My darling. Right? That's what I thought. So now, I don't get too excited with countersinking now that one's down in. Right? Like, one's right down in there. Look. This is the small one. But, I mean, look. It's, it's down in there. So now, while you're here with me, look at this. Oh, Billy Ray, what do you think you're doing? That's a little bit crazy, isn't it? No, it's not crazy, Billy Ray. It's called efficiency. Come here, you. Now, we go old school, old bucking system with the vice grips, okay? It works. Hey, it works. I'm, I'm MacGyver. Danielson. Danielson. <laughs> oh, I love this. Bo oh, come out of there, you. Now, Shablanco. Oh, well, heavens to Betsy. Would you would you just kind of take a little pixie put that, friends? Oh, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, happiness is here, my friends. What? Come on! Yes, it's cracked. Absolutely, it's cracked right there. That's why other makers, I, I think that's why they take it down when they wedge so that it, you can just see it cracks. Like this one's a little shorter, but this one's tall. I really like it. I do. I really like it. I want you to run this and let me know how this goes for you. <laughs> so, so, you know what the beautiful thing is now is I actually can countersink it a bit but I don't really think I need to. But just because I'm here and I'm that kind of character. Whoa. Sure. Sure he is. Sure he is. That Billy Ray. There's a touch of a counter 
Oh yeah. Oh yeah. We go small one now. Yep. Oh yeah. Okay. So it changes the beautiful pristine look of that that wood thing before. But look at what are you talking about? Hey? Shiklink. Shiklink. Shiklonka dee donka dee dank. Hey. Shiklink. Shiklink. Shiklonka dee donka dee dank. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay. Now, Miguel, you know about this already. I showed you this. We're not, I'm not even touching that for you, buddy. I'm leaving that. Look at it. That's total barbaric show. It'll split, but you know what I'd do if I were you, if I'm gonna, if I, if, if I was you and I was gonna run this ax, I would maybe clean that up and, and put an edge on it. I can do it for you. If you want me to do this, this thing's going out probably Thursday. So if, if you see this video and you want me to just make it, make you an edge, I will do so just cause that's the kind of guy I am. But usually I would send that out like that, but the, it's, it's still integral. But it may get worse if you hit stone or something like that because it's already like that. You know what I mean? Let me know. Okay, buddy? That worked out sweet. Over and out. Yeah, I was just sitting here thinking, Shane, you know, we got that great big double. We got that great big double in there. But you know what? I thought to myself, you know, it's that old, I just, I don't know. I'm an overkill kind of guy. So you're getting, you're getting the two up front too. Yeah, I'm just, I'm not horsing around. There you go. There's your two up front and probably should give it a little counter, counter advice. Yeah, I'm liking it. Oh yeah. This is what I'm talking about. When this head comes off, it'll be because you're cutting it off. <laughs> yeah. Oh, buddy, I'm not kidding you. What a gorgeous system. So you got freaking, oh, I love it. Put a little watt in there just, just because you've broken some wood cells. May as well throw a little in there just to keep it rocking and rolling. I tell you, friends, listen, you guys, you must know by now, like, Just wait for your axes, friends, please. Do, do, it, trust me, don't. <laughs> the, <laughs> there's a system to it. There is a system to my axes. And when you get them in your hands, you'll understand. The only reason I say that is because there was one fella and I was actually a little surprised that he did it. And I'm not gonna mention any names because he knows who he is. He was he was starting to wonder about his ax and, and, and the shame was, is that I talked about it on a video or two and he, he didn't watch the video or two. He just decided to kind of, uh, you use words like ASAP and stuff like that. And, and that's a shame because I talk about it. I'm up front with all my business right to the world. Never mind to you on an email. So, so have faith, have faith that, that, huh? Okay. That actually gets on my nerves. I'll be quite honest with you. And I was this close to sending him his money back because I don't care. I don't care. I'll send you your money back. If you don't, if you're getting impatient, I'll send you your money back. It's no problem. Full refund. And I might even send you a t-shirt for your hassles. <sighs> like this guy hasn't been waiting that long. There's people waited way longer than, than he did. Way longer. So... I mentioned in videos, if you're not interested in the program and in the system, please don't make a purchase. And I don't mean to sound kicking a gift horse in the mouth, but I'm not into the pressure because it won't work. The ax will come out not right. It will. You, am I making sense? Okay. <clears throat> I just had a guy. He was using the poop out of his ax. Like, I mean, he was using it. He showed me pictures months ago of little busted pieces of wood. And he was like, ah, well, it broke on. He busted it. He busted it. And it busted in a really weird spot. And, and he's been rocking it for months and months. And uh, anyways, um, 
I said, send it back. I'll throw a new handle on it for you. I don't care. I, you know, he's a good guy. Maybe one day he'll buy another axe off me. I don't care. He's going to pay for the handle and I'm going to handle it for him. Like, like really, what is life about, friends? Oh, no, I can't. You oh, forget that. Forget it, man. You had it for, you broke the thing. I didn't. Oh. He said, Buck, and you know something? Your, he says, your fitmanship didn't even, even, not even, a, not even try and even think about moving, he said to me. He said it was nothing to do with your fitmanship. He just said it broke in a strange spot, and he showed me pictures, and it was, it was a really strange spot. It was, all, it was, it was, it was strange, which, hey, it's freaking wood, right? So, please, friends, if, you, if you're not interested in the program, really investigate what I do on Axis before you just buy an axe and throw your money away because you know it could be two could two three months before your axe comes it depends on what's going on around here it really i'm telling you the truth it could be and you know what if that's not your gig i don't make my living on making the axes i've said it a thousand times so really it doesn't matter to me but when you get them you understand that oh okay i i understand now i see this is a little bit different than uh do you know what I mean? So it just, that, 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 that bugs me a little bit when somebody emails me a couple of times and he already asked twice. He's asked twice now. I'm almost actually thinking about sending his money back and giving his ax to someone else. That's the kind of person I am. It bugs me, especially when I've mentioned it 10 or 15 times. Don't bug me. Is that good enough? I feel like it is. I mean, come on, come on. If you don't know how to use an ax, don't buy a good ax. Don't do it, you'll wreck it. Buy four or five old $30 axes and go learn how to use an ax before you buy this ax. That's the best advice I can give anybody. Okay? You see how I swing an ax, friends? All my axes look like this. You see, you see me swing an axe. Are they all busted and ripped and t trashed? No, I could go get the four or five ones that I use all the time and show you. You might see a little dent here and there, maybe a little. No, it's just because I, I've been swinging it for years. I wouldn't buy a three hundred dollar axe or a four or five hundred dollar tool or even a two hundred dollar tool until I know how to use it. Okay, this thing's freaking done. Done. So you know who I'm talking about. I know you do. So I, I'm not trying to, you know, I'm not giving you a hard time, but, but the program is all right out in front of us. There's no, there's no, there should be no, hey, where's my ax? That, that's wrong here. That's, that's not the gig. So, you know, I'm, I'm almost thinking about giving your money back. I still love you though. Michael. I, you know what? I feel silly because I don't think it's Michael buying the axe. I think it's someone else. <laughs> but it's you guys. You know what I'm talking about. The Horners. Look at this, friends. Look at. See the little cracks from when I pounded the wedges in? Look at that. That's going to sit there like that. Oh, good sign. That's a really good sign. That right there? Bubbles. That means Watka's dropping down in there. Let's leave that like that for about 15 minutes. The axe just got better. Straight up. Just got better. Oh yeah, sucker! Oh come on, sucker! Okay, I gotta go down to Friesen's and get some duct tape. I'll be back in the flash audios. Well, how's everybody? It's pretty gorgeous uh, out right now, but we're look who's here! Hi guys, it's Victorious Victor. Victor was in the area, and he, um, I was doing all kinds of different things, like I always do. And uh, Victor phoned and said, are you home? And I said, well, I'll be home shortly. And the reason I wasn't home is because I had to stop at the post office to grab Toby Cadenhead's package. Thanks, Toby, buddy. What did you do, bud? Priority insured. Oh. What has Toby done? Toby's done a good packing job is what he's done. Yes, he's done that. Urgh! Victor, what do we got? I don't know. 
can't even shake it. I can't even. Oh, look at Toby. What have you done? Toby's got. Oh, now just a minute here. Toby. What have you got in here, Tobster? Oh. Oh, it's that scale, Toby. Yeah, buddy. Huh. Tobe. Look what Toby, friends, look at. Now, here's a guy, Toby. Here's a guy. He, he this is old. Ooh. Okay. Toby, he, um. Oh, it's gorgeous, Tobe. We just need to set the little thing there a little bit. It's a great scale, Tobe. That thing was cool. Isn't that neat? These will be pounds, I reckon. Yep. So look at this, friends. So, so Toby, look at, Toby, I love it, buddy. Toby said, he said, I know you like old things. And he said, I think this would look cool in the shop to weigh the ax heads with. Hey? Yep. See how it's just off a bit? Yep, half pound off. Yeah. So, which could have happened in shipping or maybe not. Toby, maybe or you can let me know. The tray. Yeah, maybe, eh? Oh, now you're two pounds heavy. Ah, uh, there you go. So we just need to... We'll, we'll fix it. Buckins already broke it. I love it, Tobe. I love it. It's great. I think you can fix that. You can set them. Oh, right here. Yep. We fixed it. Bang! How'd you do that? Oh, deadly, Victor. Okay, so there it is. It's bang on. Toby, we fixed it. It's awesome. I love you, Toby. This is incredible. So, so what this is, friends, is Toby thought, well, okay, so this axe is two and a half pounds. Apparently. Apparently. Why, well, as a matter of fact, yes, it is, yes, Victor. It, is. it works great, friends. Look. Hey? Yeah, that little bit off is because there's still wood in it. That's right, and a wedge. And a wedge. And a steel wedge. So it works great. Toby, buddy, this is awesome. I'm going to weigh every freaking axe head I get now because of you, Toby. Here's another one. What does this come in at? Do you have to set every time? Yeah, it works off a little bit. From bumping around. What's that, three and a half? We got four and a quarter. Woo! Mind you, we got the wood handle. We got the wood handle. Incredible. Toby, you're a good man. Thank you so much. That is going to fit so good in here, buddy. I love it. Let's just start weighing stuff, Tobe, shall we? How much does that weigh? Too little to even tell. That's right. That's incredible. Thank you, Tobe. That's we awesome. got another one here, friends. There's another one here. And we're going to make a spot for this right in there. But for now, we're going to put it right here. Toby, you're a good man. I love That's it, cool. buddy. Isn't that nice? Yeah, it is. It's beautiful. It's too. Palouse. Palouse. 50s. You think so? I think so. Yeah, could From be. how the paint looks on it. Might even say on there, Model Y 1956. Right Not there. Bad. Not bad, Victor. It's a beauty, 56. Man, hey, Tobe, thanks, buddy. I really appreciate that. I love stuff like this. Wow, what a guy, Model Y25. Very cool. I have no I freaking deal what this is. We're gonna find out, friends. I didn't see any names where this one was from. Oh. Frederick. From Quebec. Frederick from Quebec. Oh. Oh. I'll bet you this is an eBay purchase. PayPal. Okay. Yeah. PayPal. Hope you like it. Frederick. Frederick, you crazy guy. You guys. Victor. Aren't these people nice? I'm telling you what. Oh. 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 Oh my goodness. Oh yeah, McCullough, love it. I love it. Okay, that's, that's just packing. A minty one. 
It is a minty one. I've got one just like it. It'd be right there. Where? Right oh yeah, and there's another one in the shop. Oh yeah, there's a yeah yeah. Frederick, I think I know who this is. This is actually. This is actually. Uh, it is Frederick. Yeah. Ship from Frederick Harty. That is mint. That is. Friends, look at that. I, I just, that is so cool. Another McCullough, another McCullough of Canada product. McCullough of Canada. Yeah. Yeah. McCullough, look at this, head office, 25 McCullough Avenue, Toronto, Canada. Made in Canada. McCullough Avenue. This is wonderful. Thank you so much, Frederick. Wow. Neck. Neck. Love it. <laughs> Friends, did you see my new setup here? <laughs> Thanks, everybody, for the lovely gifts. I'm not kidding you. I, I, I so appreciate you know something friends. I got to be honest. We, uh, we, we, we got things lucky. Uh, we do on this channel. I, I was flipping on through and of course, you know, stuff comes up on your sidebar, right? And on one of the bigger channels, we all know who it is. Uh, I will not mention names. I don't like doing stuff like that, but I'll tell you something. We're freaking lucky here, friends, that we're never going to have to worry about stuff like that. I say never, I know, but I'm a hopeful man. I just find that 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 was just extremely, ah, just doesn't look good, especially on a creator trying to set an example out there. I just, but it didn't look good on him. It didn't look good on him, I'll tell you that. I've seen him do it before, but whatever, that's that. Friends, thank you, thank you, thank you for all the gifts. It's awesome. I hope you enjoyed today's video from yesterday's tree job. Wasn't Harry a great guy and his wife? Awesome people. And that old freaking John Deere cat. Victor, you haven't seen the video or did you? No. It was wicked. We, we were rocking an old John Deere 350 there. It was, <laughs> it was deadly. Nice. Yeah, it was just deadly. Anyway, friends, over and out. Talk to you soon. Be kind. make sure friends when you're doing these the wood goes one way and goes the other way remember you gotta watch your grain we're down to the final touches on Al's handle here it's just uh, he left me a text today I text with a lot of my subscribers actually a new guy just text just now he just thought he'd give it a shot um, was it uh, Dean, how you doing, Dean? Dean Morrow. Hey, Dino. Thanks, buddy. I don't know, Dino. I've had this thing on my neck for 20 years. I, I honestly don't know where you can get one. This is a way different than one I've ever, ever seen. This one is like solid. It's, it's, it's big and heavy and it, it, it actually weighs a lot. It's, I've got it on with a boot lace because I know I'd lose it with chain or steel or any other thing. So I tie it on with an old fiberglass, and it's been on my neck. The only time this thing's ever been off my neck is when I broke my back and I needed an MRI. That's it. So I'll text you back here, but uh, I, I don't know, buddy. Check on the, maybe eBay or internet or something. You can find the different ones there. Thanks for subscribing and watching my videos. I appreciate it, pal. Over now. I'm gonna give you the old school handle because you showed me a picture of yourself. You you made the mistake of showing me a picture of yourself. So now I know you're old school. So I'm gonna make you one of the old school handles that, that aren't round. They're rectangular and you're gonna freaking love it, buddy. I know you are. I'm gonna make it, uh, you know what I'm talking about, Al. I know you do. Logger Wade got one too. He's a throwback. Guaranteed he is. You know what I mean, Al. Yeah, straight down like this. 
and then like a rectangular, you know what I mean, old school, where it just kind of got a little bit of a swell there, and that's it. We got, uh, we got wind. 70k or something like that they said it's kind of a coming in a weird direction um, we either get southeast or northwest and right now look at my balsam it's finished up there oh here we go look at this this is coming it's either look oh dear that's blowing right on my house oh.